welcome. So the request was, how do we manage a project and really execute a project in the modern PPM solution? So here we are, we actually are in Teams and we're looking at a support customer using mobile project. You can see that we have a workflow. This can all be configured to your organization. Um, some project information that we're capturing, maybe to build from a biz project business case. Uh, any alignment or prioritizations that you have. Again, you could uh, go ahead and look values up. This is dynamic, so you could have dynamic fields that are here. Um, anything that's associated as far as the actions or key results. Uh, financials, cost, effort, as well as how are we doing within the project and also how it's trending. Now, some of this information is going to be captured in from a status report perspective, but we've had a lot of questions about how does this look, you know, if we were to look at financials or collaborative work management, meaning issues and risks. So I'm going to take the next 90 seconds or two minutes and just walk you through that. From a financial area, you can come in here and take a look at things that are budgeted, okay, for your organization. You also notice that I did have other buckets here from a forecast or even actual and benefits, whether you're pulling those in and copying and pasting them in from Excel or directly importing them from another tool, or you're managing it directly here. A lot of our uh, companies and clients like to see a difference between op and cap X. Uh, you can easily do that within the tool and it's a nice landing place. Now I will say this is not a uh, true CapEx, OpEx model uh, as far as your overall enterprise process that's happening. Typically we see those being tracked at a much detail level, uh, whether it's within another tool or a very complicated or a uh, detailed Excel process that's out there. But again, we could work with you to incorporate that within the modern solution or simply dovetail that in so you can see some reporting. From a resourcing perspective, you can still do top-down planning here. So in this case, you could go across and look at at, uh, Gavin or anybody else on the team and go ahead and say, you know, how are they looking from a committed perspective across uh, this per this tool? And again, you could come in and say, I'd like to do this in um, hours or FTEs or percent complete. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's how you prefer to take a look at top down planning. Now, continuing on if, as far as execution goes now, quite simply, you'll have the plan either in a list, meaning a Gantt chart view or a more Excel tabular view or a board view. Now, either way, if you think about these projects, uh, it's really up to you. It's just how you manage it. We did say Gantt chart, so I will show that real quick. Um, that's just going to show our Gantt chart and you can zoom in and zoom out, you know, to your your content and your delight here. Now, all the tasks that we're going to be seeing in here are uh, transferable across your entire task uh, network. So again, if you wanted to use the new planner app and teams that are out there, you'd be able to see everything in one place. Again, really up to you and how you want to interact with that from a task perspective. But this is where you can go in, take a look at all our tasks within our projects, see uh, not only the assignments, but how are we doing, uh, what the status is and other things like that. You can also see that in a board view if that uh, fancies your um, your desire there and you can go ahead and drag and drop this whether you want uh, the rows and the columns to be uh, certain. Now this is a particular view that we have work by status. You can come in here and create your own views and save those quite simply and then we talked about, OK, so that's great, but we also wanted to see issues and risks. Now, a nice thing that it does, and I'm going to just show this, is, hey, you changed something. Are you sure you want to do that? I'm fine because we're just demoing, but this is, again, a reflection to the project manager. Say, hey, you might want to save that before you move off. So very in control of what you're doing. Now, you can see that we talked about the schedule. We happen to be looking at a, a board view, but I'm going to go back to the typical list and say we're good there. Now, issues and risks um, at the project level. So if we go ahead and take a look at risks here, we have some. And right now, you can go ahead and pull those in from Excel. You can go ahead and just add a new 
item directly on here, but you're going to notice that we're actually going to assign some of these issues and risks. And now here's the nice true thing that is with this. So now these can be assigned. So now we can take a look at all of our tasks, all of our risks or issues that are assigned to us all in one place. And it's really convenient to do that. Lastly, very quick, like I said, 90 seconds, two minutes here is the status report feature. So within customer uh, support customer for mobile. You can see that we have a particular status report. This is being auto generated every week. Uh, that's something you can schedule or you can automatically run this. And there is a submittal process. Now this would go to my uh, approver, my manager. They would need to go ahead and review it and approve it. Whether you have approvals or not, again, totally configurable to you. Some of those fields that we talked about with finances, okay, and, and seeing some information come up, all that's going to come. And remember, we talked about how we can execute this project and see all those issues and risks right down on the bottom. We can see all those and we can progress those uh, week over week or see how we're doing. So again, thanks for joining us. Wanted to show you with the modern solution, modern PPM solution, how to execute, manage not only issues and risks, but all of your work, meaning your cost, your resources, your assignments, all within the modern solution and being sent over through Microsoft Teams. Have yourself a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. We're going to see you next Tuesday. We'll be back here, so we want to thank you for being part of our PPM Works community, and we really want to welcome you back next Tuesday, and thank you very much for being here today, and we wish you a very fantastic day.